Hello, Henry Ford College students, faculty, and staff. I thought I might send you a message this Thanksgiving season. This is a time of giving thanks, and I'm truly grateful for my community, which includes all of you. Many of you have shared that you are feeling weary and stressed. Some of you aren't even sure you're succeeding in your lives or your work. And many of you, our students, are struggling with a reality that we simply cannot change. Yet every day you continue going beyond the call of duty. I cannot thank you enough for the work and the service that you are all putting in every day. You are investing in yourselves and you are making a real difference in other people's lives every single day. But I recognize it has been a long road during this pandemic. I know it has been particularly hard as we face a holiday season where we cannot gather in large groups as we normally would and celebrate and spend time together. With this message, I hope to give you some encouragement as we finish up this year that has been so hard on all of us. Remember, you are making progress and gaining new skills in how you learn and how you work and in how you live. This struggle is real, but the process is helping us all grow. Look back on the last nine months and reflect on what you have accomplished. To our students, you are about to complete the second, in some cases, the third semester in an environment that none of us could have imagined. But you have done it. I encourage you to keep going. Continue to invest in yourself. You will be ready for what the future brings. To my faculty and staff teammates, think about how we moved nearly 90% of our classes to distance education formats in two weeks. Think about how the countless hours you have spent teaching and serving students and each other, all remotely. For those of you who are still on our campuses, think about how you have kept things running smoothly despite power outages and storms and despite your small crews having to deal with these new safety protocols that we've imposed. But I know the true difference you are all making, especially when I hear it coming from students. And so now I wanna share with you some comments from those most important constituents, our students. Here are some comments from an advising survey. Mr. Abney was nothing but kind and courteous to me while venturing out for college classes for the first time. He helped me pick out classes I should take and connected me with people who would help me register. Here's another. She really helped me get the weight off my shoulders. She really knew what she was doing and she helped me get on the right track for my academic career. She was very sweet and personal and took my feelings into consideration while helping me map out my plan to get to Eastern next fall. Julie was very nice, and I recommend her getting a raise. The next set of student comments come from the November First Friday's conversation. Several students attended, and two of them gave some feedback. Rodney Haynes and Asma Alasadi had nothing but good things to say about how you have supported them. They are enrolled in the ALP program, and both happen to be working with English professor Kim Achapinti. They thanked her for her personal attention and expert teaching. Both credited her with their success and others at HFC for helping them. In the midst of this pandemic, these students are happy about how we are helping them. And they showed up on their own to say that. Other students spoke to me specifically about the help they have received in their math classes and how amazing our math faculty are. This is great feedback for our math faculty who have implemented innovative solutions to help students in co-requisite courses. I also heard from a student, Denisha Jones, a business major who spoke highly of her instructor, Doris Tony, who helped her and other students during the pivot to online courses. She said, Miss Tony's teaching style and commitment to getting students to be more comfortable and learn the objectives were unique. And she was very committed and passionate. She challenged us to achieve our highest potential. 
Then there was this message that we all heard from Hassan Hamoud at our State of the College event in August. He said, I learned at HFC you are supposed to work to limits that you never really thought you could reach. Once you have done that, make sure that the next day you work twice as hard. This is the college that took me in at age 15, he said. I wanted to maintain the highest grades, learn as much as possible, and keep a smile on my face, and be the absolute best version of myself. Our instructors pushed me to the brink to bring out the qualities I never knew I possessed. I learned what it meant to believe and to believe in people who are willing to help, like people like Nancy Borkin, Karen Elsercy, Dean Susan Schunkweiler, all of them who made sure we would get through the tough times together. You know, I could tell you many, many more stories that I've heard that show that you are all going far, far beyond the call of duty. And if you have any more of those stories, please reach out and share them with me. That helps our culture of teamwork. I will share one more student message from you from Agnesi Ruggiero. She said, I'm writing to you about a very special person, Professor Charles Irish. During these uncertain dark times, Professor Irish has spread light on all of his Chemistry 131 students. We have been having trouble with our lab. Professor Irish has stayed past class time to help us. He even set up extra help on Fridays with Professor Hull. He has gone above and beyond to help his students. He shows compassion and empathy in helping his students. It is professors like him who make people like me want to attend HFC, she says. These are the experiences that our students share with me in their own words. You, my teammates, are doing this important, life-changing work. Every one of our students is facing challenges and you have made their lives better. This is even more important when you consider that many of our students are disproportionately affected by the pandemic and by economic and social struggles. I'll close with a few final thoughts for you, my teammates, and then our students. To all of my teammates at HFC, I know some days can be hard to keep going during this pandemic. I feel it too. I know sometimes rolling out of bed can be a real chore. I offer these comments for your students to reinforce you, to remember you are making a difference. You are changing lives through your service and your teaching. You are providing a path to a better future through education. Your work is meaningful always, but especially now. So keep it up. Keep going. I support you. To all of our HFC students, you are here to invest in a better future for yourself and to reach for dreams that mean so much to you. Do not stop working on your future. Keep going. Your effort will pay off and we will keep supporting you. And to all of us in our community, we are a community that makes me immensely proud. This pandemic has been tough, there's no doubt, but we are still making progress. And in time, we will see that the struggle has made us a stronger people, a stronger college, and a more patient community. That gives me a lot of things to be thankful for during this Thanksgiving. I look forward to a time when we can all celebrate together as a community. But until then, you all have my full support and confidence and my deep abiding belief that we can overcome anything when we work together. I'm so thankful for all, for all of you, and I want you to know I hope you have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving.